we refer to as the, the, the Saudi Arabia of lithium. Beneath the cracked, toxic bed of California's Salton Sea lies a hidden treasure that could transform not only the local economy, but also the global energy landscape. This seemingly desolate lake, which has shrunk dramatically over the past few decades, is sitting atop one of the world's largest reserves of lithium, an essential mineral for the batteries that power electric vehicles, EVs, and a key to a sustainable energy future. The Salton Sea, once a popular vacation spot, has become an environmental disaster zone. Toxic dust swirls in the air, fueled by the lake's receding shorelines, exposing more than 30,000 acres of lake bed laced with heavy metals and carcinogens. But amid this bleak scenario, there's a potential lifeline, one that could turn this drying lake into the Saudi Arabia of lithium. The Lithium Gold Rush Beneath the Salton Sea, there's an estimated 18 million metric tons of lithium suspended in hot geothermal brine. That's enough lithium to power over 375 million EV batteries, making the U.S. self-sufficient in this critical mineral. As the global demand for lithium skyrockets, driven by the shift towards electric vehicles and renewable energy, the Salton Sea's reserves present a once-in-a-generation opportunity. Currently, the U.S. produces less than 1% of the world's lithium, most of which comes from Nevada. But the Salton Sea's reserves could drastically change that, potentially producing nearly half of the world's current lithium supply. Companies are racing to develop new technologies to tap into this resource, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Hundreds of billions of dollars and thousands of jobs are on the line. The technology behind the extraction. Extracting lithium from the Salton Sea's geothermal brine is no small feat. This brine is a highly complex and corrosive mixture, composed of superheated salty water enriched with various minerals, including lithium. Unlike the more straightforward extraction methods used in places like Australia and South America, where lithium is typically obtained through open pit mining or large evaporation ponds, the conditions at the Salton Sea require a novel approach that can handle both the heat and the chemical composition of the brine. In contrast to the traditional methods, direct lithium extraction DLE, is a much more targeted and efficient process. At the Salton Sea, companies like Energy Source Minerals have developed advanced DLE techniques that fit seamlessly into the existing geothermal energy infrastructure. Here's how it works. The process begins by tapping into the Salton Sea's geothermal resources, which have been utilized for electricity generation since the 1980s. Geothermal plants pump superheated brine from deep underground to the surface, where the heat is used to produce electricity. After the energy is extracted, the brine, now cooler, is typically re-injected back into the earth. DLE technology intercepts the brine just before it's re-injected. Instead of letting this mineral-rich liquid return to the depths, it's routed through a series of specialized equipment designed to extract the lithium. This step is where the true innovation lies. The brine passes through columns filled with a proprietary absorbent material. This is often referred to as the secret sauce of the process. The absorbent is designed with an incredibly high surface area, acting like a sponge, which selectively captures lithium ions from the brine while leaving other minerals and salts behind. This selectivity is crucial, as it allows for a highly efficient extraction process with minimal waste. Once the lithium has been absorbed, it's then stripped from the absorbent using a small amount of water. This step yields a highly concentrated lithium solution, far purer than what traditional methods can produce. The efficiency of this process is remarkable. DLE can recover over 90% of the lithium from the brine, which is more than double the recovery rate of conventional evaporation ponds. After the lithium is extracted, the remaining brine, now devoid of lithium, is re-injected back into the underground reservoir. This re-injection is crucial for maintaining the geothermal reservoir's pressure, ensuring that it can continue to produce energy sustainably. The final lithium solution, typically lithium chloride, is further purified and processed into a solid form, 
such as lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide. These compounds are the raw materials needed for the production of lithium-ion batteries, which power everything from electric vehicles to smartphones. The Challenges Ahead While the potential for a lithium boom is enormous, so are the challenges. The Salton Sea itself is shrinking rapidly, exacerbating environmental issues that have plagued the region for years. The lake's decline has already decimated local ecosystems and created health hazards for nearby communities. The toxic dust that now blankets the area is linked to asthma and other respiratory problems, particularly in children and the elderly. The influx of companies and workers eager to capitalize on the lithium reserves could further strain the environment. Residents and community leaders are concerned that without proper oversight, lithium extraction could worsen the region's environmental crisis. They argue that any economic benefits must be balanced with investments in mitigating pollution and restoring the Salton Sea. To address these concerns, California Governor Gavin Newsom recently signed legislation allowing Imperial County to tax lithium production. The revenue from this tax is earmarked for salt and sea restoration projects and community benefit initiatives, ensuring that the people most affected by the environmental issues are not left behind in the lithium rush. The future of salt and sea. As the race to extract lithium intensifies, the future of the salt and sea remains uncertain. While there are plans to tackle the toxic dust problem, these are short-term fixes. Long-term success in this region will depend on finding sustainable ways to manage the environmental impacts of lithium extraction while also delivering economic benefits to the local community. The Salton Sea presents a paradox. It's both a symbol of environmental degradation and a beacon of hope for a greener, more sustainable future. With the right balance of technology, investment, and environmental stewardship, this toxic, drying lake could indeed turn into Saudi Arabia's gold, powering the world's shift to clean energy while revitalizing a community that has long been left behind. But this transformation will not happen overnight. It will take years of careful planning, collaboration, and innovation to unlock the Salton Sea's full potential. And in the end, the success of this venture will be measured not just in tons of lithium extracted, but in the health and well-being of the people and ecosystems that call this unique and challenging environment home.